Today I'll share with you the disassembly process of a solenoid valve. This solenoid valve is an air solenoid valve, two port, long arm solenoid valve. When the monitoring method is not powered, A and P are not connected. Uh, when powered, the solenoid inside activates and the two air holes, uh, P and A, will be connected. We are looking at a secondary negative power supply. Then we'll plug in the power and take a look. After connecting the power, the electronic valve operates and the LED lights See up. After turning off the power, the R1 light goes out. The issue with the distribution is there's a spring inside uh, which will close the connection between P and A. So now it's P and A is not connected. Let's start disassembling now. Let's start disassembling by first removing the screw on top. You can see there are three terminal blocks here. Once I connect achievements, secondary achievements, and the public sector, that is cutting the balloon shell. I'm not sure what you meant to say. After unscrewing it, you can directly take off the coil. This is our power supply part, which works through this secondary coil. Then the coil gets energized. And after that, this hole will have magnetism. Let's keep going. This should be the core. Inside this spring-loaded core is the firing pin. They put it in what we think is a copper in casing. Granule. In the granule. Then this is this one. Uh... Let's take a rough look at this big connector part. Uh, this copper piece here has a copper sealing ring on it. After we install it, this valve core will be sealed inside the shell. You can tell this design is very clever. Then, when the solenoid valve is not powered, the strength of this plus The lines are not magnetic when there is no current. So, inside, this hair cell won't get attracted inside. When it's powered, the message will be pulled inside. We'll demonstrate it to you in a moment. So when there is no current, it will not be attracted inside. And our spring will push it to the bottom of the shell. Enter our technology. Then uh, our project, uh, there are two holes connecting to these two terminals. When our core head was propelled by a spring toward this topic at that moment. You can see on the top there is a point. Um, it should be plastic, soft in the middle, just sealing our central circle. Pressed on the whole of this circle so it blocks the middle hole. Then making the two interfaces non-conductive because the core blocks the middle hole. When we electrify the electromagnetic coil it will attract this core uh, inside and thereby making these. These two holes are connected because the core is inside and will not block the middle hole. So this is the working principle. We can try it. Power restriction results in a fine. Uh, traction is the process of pulling the hairstyle out with magnetic force. 
Let's take a look. Okay, now we have placed the valve core inside this coil. When the coil is not powered, the valve core is pushed out by this spring. Let's get our communication signal. Communication signal point. Just a quick look at the message. It was sent without power. NTT was pushed out without power. Oh. Goodbye. Then we see now there is a female nightmare. And this discovery has already been taken to the hospital by the female. Can't pull it out. Then we cut the power. Once we cut the power, the spring immediately restores the material. The working principle is that when this coil does not get electricity, attract some new cores and then block this hole here in the middle. When they're connected but not powered, it's an arm and the spring will push the core, block one of the holes in the middle, making these two. These two interfaces are not conductive. This is its working process.